Hello, my name is Jordan Perkins. I'm 43 now, uh, born in Ontario, and I started becoming an artist when I was 35, uh, just for fun. And now that's what I do. I paint, spill paint, I call it. Yeah. And the way that happened was, um, I have my daughter was five at the time. We needed something to do in the afternoon, so we went down to Dollarama. We already bought all the crafts and the games and stuff so this time we picked up some paints and uh, we spent the afternoon painting and by the end of it she loved it and I had a piece of art to put on the wall. It wasn't very good but uh, it kept me going. Experience that like what's the turning point for your, your career as an artist? Yeah you know what and you know what I think that was I, I, I think that it was uh, finding Voca and Peter Terran on Instagram and, and seeing their style. And that's when I knew I want to be a painter. Um, when I started painting, I was Googling easy paintings, paintings for beginners, you know, and painting a, a black silhouette tree with a colorful background. And, you know, then that started to evolve into, into animals and whatnot. And uh, I just kept going back to them and seeing the styles and techniques that they, they were using. And I was just like, that's, that's my goal. That was driving me. And I remember when I painted that Nelson Mandela painting, I was like, I did it. I did it. I did this painting that I never thought I would be able to do something where I liked it that much and, um, and that was the moment. Well, one of the ways my artwork has impacted the community, I would say, is more of an individual basis. So uh, the way that my art became popular and the way that I was able to turn into a full-time business was painting pet portraits. Unfortunately, most of the animals that I paint have passed away and uh, people want the memory and a piece of art. So this way they can have a, a nice piece of art that's affordable. Um, at the same time, it's going to be very personal to them. It's a great gift. You know, it's going to look just like their 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 subject, but it's going to be fun and artsy. And I had somebody a few months ago message me saying that every day they walk by the painting, they still touch it. And it was of their dog, you know, and so it does help with the grieving process quite a bit. Oh, Jordan Parkinson. Yeah. Yeah. So the tools that I use are primarily in here. I use a, a lot of palette knives. Um, anything could be a palette knife, really. I, I, I buy whatever I can. Um, in here, all my little paint brushes. All of these have come from dollar stores because again, you're just spreading paint. And then my bigger brushes we got in here. And then my extra big brushes and my foam ones, which these foam paint brushes were the only thing I used for the good three or four years originally when I started painting. So. So what I do is I, to set up a painting is I get all the colors I think I'm going to use and, and, I, and I put them out. And sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. I use acrylic paint. This here, this whole background is watered down acrylic paint flat on the ground. Then I put the drawing on it, just an outline of the drawing. And then I use some stencils and spray paint. So I really love this octagon or hexagon or whatever that is. Um, so I'll just use different colors to spray paint that. Then we'll start making some marks. So what I'll do is I'll usually I'll go off of a, the photo of it and I'll make the, the dark spots darker than the light spots. So I'm just gonna go over some of the spots where I know it's a bit darker here. Underneath the chin here. Um, I don't know what to paint. I, I, I sometimes spend as much time on looking for something to paint as I do making the actual painting. So commissions are easy because my clients will send me a picture. Um, I don't come up with things in my head. I go off of pictures and I can render the colors and, and whatnot um, into different fun colors. I think the first time I saw his art, and I actually remember it, it was at Eatology. Seeing his art hung on the walls, I remember getting up from my seat. I think I'm like in the middle of eating some, some eggs. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. I think it was a Gandhi piece. I was instantly awestruck about how, 
how fantastic of an artist he was. And I was like, who is this guy? Who's, who is this artist? Obviously it's a local because it's, you know, the restaurant is catering to more locals and that's typically what they do. So the first time that I bought a piece from Jordan was I learned that he was doing custom pieces and I saw that he was taking pictures from people's animals and making art out of them. And so I thought to myself, wow, my mom has two dogs that are both 13, 14 years old. What a memorable gift, what a special, special gift. So I got in touch with him, went over to his house and actually ended up spending like two hours there just talking and, uh, you know, um, looking at all of his pieces that he's done and getting excited about everything that he's created. And so that's really, really cool, really admirable to see that from someone whose work has touched so many people's lives. A lot of tears shed in the art studio down there and um, people are just blown away with happiness when they see it and uh, they always comment on how the eyes look like it. They're always gonna remember me, they're always gonna remember where they met me, where they saw my painting, they're gonna remember everything about it. So I, I think that the biggest reward is the ones that I don't even see, you know, just kind of hidden there. And, they remember and they know and I think that's the important part. My goal was to make a living off of selling paintings so I'm, I'm a very um, I guess a financially orientated person and growing up we came you know I was a bit of a poor family so um, like everybody it seems and uh, so to me it was always to make money money and, and that kind of was the driving factor behind the, the paintings originally was I, I, was I just wanted to have a little stack of cash and whatnot and now that I'm there, what is it? Um, it's not to make more money. I, I think what it is now is to switch my trend, uh, trajectory and maybe getting into some galleries or maybe starting to send some paintings a little farther away. Um, selling prints is, is, is big on our list moving forward, uh, you know, a residual income um, on work you've already done. Um, as an artist, uh, you have thousands and thousands of dollars and hours, hundreds of hours of work that you've never been paid for. Um, I've got 50, 60 paintings, you know, that I own that I'm waiting for somebody to purchase. So um, it's, it's a funny business like that. And it's almost like a, like a realtor where you're doing work today for, to, to reap the benefits tomorrow. And um, that's a big hopefully. Um, so as I can get my word out there, keep the growth going. That is my goal, just to keep doing what I'm doing.